Hello and welcome to SimUK. Here you're going to find nothing less than genuine, unedited gameplay and fact-based, honest reviews. All that I ask from you in return is that you comment below what your thoughts are on the game and what you liked or what you think is missing from it. Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome, I am SimUK and today we're going to take a little look at a game called Witch-tastic. Now I have a daughter who's 11 years old and um, we like to play games together and I thought this would be fantastic for that. Um, if you remember a little cooking game uh, back in the past where up to I think four players run around cooking things and had a whole manner of things going on, fires starting, um, different platforms moving around, all that kind of stuff. It's very similar to that game, but this is about witches and witchcraft. Um, there is a single player campaign and it has a, a lot of uh, co-op options, up to four players. You can play shared screen, split screen, co-op. Uh, you can even play remote play together, which means only one of you has to own the game and up to four of you can play. So I'm going to play on gamepad today. I'm going to play solo and we're going to let's have a little look. Oh, look, OK. So my daughter will like this quite a bit. What a lovely little menu system this is. She'd love to us to be running around and doing stuff. So it looks like we've got up to five levels here and then we move on to the next section. So I don't know how many levels there are in total. Maybe 20, 25, something like that. Let's go for the first one. Witch-tastic. So I imagine this is going to... Hi, I'm Owly. It's going to be like a tutorial. Great. Memorize the symbols above the scroll. Two green leaves. Yep. Take a magic herb from the chest. Drop the herb on a chopping board. See how similar this is? Cut into small pieces. Different buttons for different actions. I like that. Because so many times in the past I've been trying to do one thing and I accidentally picked something up. So that's good. I like that. Throw the herbs into there. Put the chopping board back down. Repeat that a second time. All right, this is good. I think this is a huge improvement over the uh, cooking games because I'm going to make less mistakes. Perfect. Now pick up some logs. There we go. Stir this brew to speed up the cooking. Okay, that's cool. And then take it. Ah, grab a bottle. Fill up the bottle. Bring the potion to him. Mm. Now we've got to make a blue one. Okay, so we got some different herbs. What do we need for blue? Potions can be delivered until the time expires. Okay, so we need one herb and one... Okay, one root and one herb. I think this game's great already. I'm already uh, totally behind it. There it, make it quicker. Brilliant. Jobs are good. What's next? Green, okay. So you can see how good this would be with multiple players. You could obviously divvy up the jobs and theoretically make things quicker. This is great. What a quacking game. Quacking, quacking game. Okay, so this game is currently £15. Uh, no, it's not. It's £14 or £13.99 technically on Steam. So, uh, yeah, not too expensive. And like I say, with the remote play together option, um, not everybody has to own the game to begin with. They may wish to buy the game at a later date, which is fine. But it allows you to play with friends and family right from the get go without everybody having to buy the game, which I think is great. All right. Pretty simple, straightforward tutorial. We've unlocked the next thing. What's this? 
Not bad. You seem to have a knack for brewing magic potions. Are you ready for another recipe? I know quite some people who could really use your potions. Okay, slight language barrier there. Just get rid of the quite and that makes sense. I know some people who could really use your potions. Okay. New ingredients. Mushroom and... Okay. There's my character. There she is. Right, so we're definitely going to need one of these. So we're having a root and a, a green thing and a double root and a mushroom. Okay. I've only got a few chopping boards. Right, double roots. Oh, you can move them around. Okay, that's good. Double root and a mushroom. Where's the mushroom at? Oh, outside. Oh, okay. Where's the wood? There's the wood. I wonder if you could put mushroom and double root in. Is that possible, do you think? Not sure if I've done that right. What do I do? Take it to the owl? Yes. We're going to need double these. Bring this board over here. I wonder if you can get extra boards. I seem to have a couple of tables there that are doing absolutely nothing. See, now I'm starting to think, how can I speed up this process? How can I be quicker? How can I get more done in the same amount of time? Uh -oh. oh, wrong potion. What? Oh, it's a root and a your banana. Right, we've got one there for later. First mistake. Ah, keep the fire going. Nope, keep the fire going. We're going to need this twice. Sorry about that, Mr. Owl. Done, isn't it? Alrighty. Probably a very good system to this, but I don't really know what it is at this moment in time. We shall figure it out as we go. Right, so we've got two green potions there. So we've already got one, so that's kind of handy. It's worked out rather well, right? to be any way of seeing how much wood is on the uh, stove, unless I'm mistaken. Right, double root mushroom. Oh, we're going to be close here. In fact, I don't think we're going to get this one done. That's it. Did we do good or did we do bad? We almost did 100% there. But for a little mistake at the beginning. Oh, which is home unlocked. What does that mean? All oh, right, so I could change my outfit color. That's cool. Okay. What else can I do? Oh, I could change my hat. Can 
Can I change my hat? No. Let's go towards the owl. He'll tell me what we can do. Welcome to your witch's cottage. You can return to this place from anywhere during your journey to adjust your appearance. I'll also give you some useful tips here. My first tip, use the time while something is boiling in the cauldron to prepare more ingredients, already ahead of the game, uh, for the next brew. There should always be something boiling in the cauldron. You should never wait idly for anything. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. It seems like I can't do very much here at the moment. I guess more's going to be unlocked as time goes. I'm very intrigued by this. I wonder if I can jump in on that and fly around or something. Right, let's go to the next house or village or whatever it is. New ingredient. Garlic, pestle, potion, garlic, garlic, root. Oh, I see it. Now I've got... Interesting. Now I have... Uh, multiple things... going on. Right. Hold Y to move... Ah! Oh, that's how that works! <laughs> that's pretty groovy. Right, the pestle and mortar thing... Clearly, that should be over here, right? No reason for that to be anywhere else. So what have we got here? So we've got a double one of these. So let's get that on the go. It's a bit irritating. Wish I could stop doing that. Where's the wood? Where is the wood? The wood is outside. Bit of a slow start by me. Right. Garlic, garlic, roots. So, hang on, garlic is over here, so really I ought to be cooking garlic this side, so I've made a mistake there already. Right, let's not make the same mistake again. Garlic, garlic, roots. What's this other one? Root and a green thing, okay. Huh? Alley boy. What? That's not one of the potions? It is one of the potions. Two green things. You've got to pass it to his front, not his back. That's annoying as hell, I have to say. Ooh. Hopefully that will be all right. Looks like garlic and a uh, Oh no, now I've put too much in there. Oh bum. How do I take something out? I can't. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm not surprised that blew up, to be fair. Totally rubbish. Totally rubbish. We may get three done here. I'm lucky. Oh, it but there's, there's a time limit on it as well <clears throat> before it burns. Oh no, I need some wood. Okay, so it's a little harder than I expected, I'll be honest. Let's 
10 seconds remaining. So we're not going to get a very good score here. Double garlic and root. Rubbish. Oh, actually, we got over halfway. We did better than I expected. I could have done better there. Let's press on, though. We've got new headdresses. New hats. Should we go look at them? Would you like to see them? do it how do you do it if you have trouble unlocking the next level you can replay any level in the chapter and complete it with a better score to earn more points for overall progress thanks did i not manage to oh there we go i did it not the top hat i was expecting but we got like extra twizzles on our hat now change our color again it'd be nice if we could change the hat color and the clothes color independently but maybe that'll come later Right, we unlocked the next level. Six a long time. Nobody was capable of brewing magic potions. I recognised your talent immediately. People are tearing at your potions right out of my nibs. Cool. What's in this one? So now we have magic. Oh my god. A whole new level of complexity. Garlic and roses, but we've got to plant the roses. Oh. Where do I get, where do I get the rose seed from? Up there, look. Hold X to chop. So now we've got to chop down the, the firewood as well. Okay. Right, so what's the first potion? A rose and garlic, or two of those. Right, let's do two of these then, because that's quick and easy. first one can I put oh yeah you can pass stuff through the window as well that's kind of cool All right so I need a rose what's the other thing a bit of garlic you have to stir it sometimes okay Another one of those and another one of those, okay. What? What was wrong with that one? Did I not stir it properly or something? Now, I seem to be out of wood, but I don't really know why. Do I have to plant wood? What happens with wood? No, nope, that's not what happens there. I have to chop another tree down. Oh, I see. <laughs> this is cool. I like this game. This game is very good. Very impressed. Right. A rose and garlic so I thought I did this right last time so we have to stir it and then give it I don't know I don't know what I did wrong last time I didn't do anything wrong it was fine just for some reason it wouldn't take it that was weird. The blue thing. Root and green. Well, that was too early then. Root and a green. I think we're doing quite well this time, actually. Much better than, uh, than the last one.
I may not get a chance to do another one. We've only got 30 seconds, but anyway, we'll try. Rose of the garlic. Oh no, what have I done? Oh! Pick it up! Do it quicker! Ah, nearly, nearly a hundred percent. Just a bit slow, aren't I? Took me a little bit of time to figure out I had to chop a tree, I suppose. That that kind of slowed me down a smidge. What do you think of this game then, guys? That's kind of cool, right? I think my daughter's going to like it. New ingredient. Basket. Nightshade. Pestle. Okay. So where is that thing? Ah, there. How do I get over the... Oh, I see. There's a doorway there. Okay, I can go in the corner. What does this need? Green and this stuff. This needs double root mushroom. This stuff and a leaf cup. Yes. So lots of leaves. We need lots and lots and lots and lots of these things. Oh, it's done. Okay. Well, that was quick. That was very quick. so cool I like it it's very clever in many ways I just thought I wonder if you could do it this way and you can so that's very cool as well oh going the wrong way Potion, shut your face. What do you mean, wrong potion? Not the wrong potion at all, you're lying. Root and a green thing. What? Root and a green thing. I'll 
obviously that screwed me up. If that potion had gone through, we'd have been fine. I don't know what's wrong with that one. I don't know what I did wrong. Nearly 100%. It's quite hard on your own, I have to say. I imagine with a friend or a compadre, it'd be slightly easier. Oh, I completely missed what's new. Double green garlic and thingy. Okay. Double green and I don't know what I'm doing now, get confused. Garlic and root, okay. Just, just in time. I think the uh, cauldron stopped cooking at just in time then. I was lucky. Right, what's next? Root and a green thing. No, a rose and a garlic thing. two of these. Can't chop down the tree that he's on. Yay! We did 100% for the first time. Bonus stage. Keep brewing to unlock magic gems. Oh, okay. Alright, okay. What do we need? chance are we no. that's hard that's the best we've done though but that is the best we've done right i'm just curious to see what's in this next oh hello hang on a new broom the citizens of riswell the capital in the east could use a talented witch like you on site get on your broom we have a long journey ahead okay Cool, that unlocks a whole load of new levels. So there may be quite a lot of levels here. Let's just have one more go at this. 
I've been playing for half an hour. I think it's quite clear to see what the game is all about. It's good. It's fun. It's enjoyable. I think it's great. So now we get to make coffee as well. Hold to drink. Cut, pestle, stir and walk faster. So if I drink coffee, I do everything faster. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, what do I do with it? I grind it. What do I do with the coffee? I just put it in there. Okay. Garlic in a root. Uh, what do I do? Like this? So that now I do everything quicker. <laughs> but now I can't control what I'm doing because I'm doing everything so fast. It's kind of cool though. What the hell? What the hell is that thing? Okay, that's a whole new dynamic. Uh, garlic and root again. No, we've got that one already. Double garlic. Root. I've only got one potion done so far. We need herbs and a green thing. Double up on that. Go away! Ah! That thing's annoying. Right, we are ready for the next potion. Tell me, like. Starting to learn the potions and stuff now. That's a double garlic and, and root. Oh, not that bloody thing again, please. Bloody ears, look. Go away! Oh, I've just got to stay out of that. Oh, no. See, now he's after me. Go away! Son of a git. Come on. Bonus stage, come on! Ah, oh, I thought I'd still have a bonus stage. Okay, well that's interesting, that's a whole new dynamic. The stuff that's going to come out and attack you and you've got to avoid it. Strange things happen in the Golden Forest. Brewing is more difficult here than in the village, but you can't let that stop you. Your potions are in demand like never before. Let's do one more, just out of curiosity. Oh, now we've got like stones and all sorts of stuff. How do I get over there? 
Use your broom to fly over the fence. Ah, like that. Okay. This is awkward. So what's this one? A root and a leaf. We don't have any trees, do we? The other one? Double leaf. Okay. Mm. That bloody thing again. How do I get rid of him? Oh no! That's the first time that's happened. So much to keep an eye on in this game. It's kind of challenging. Challenging is the right word. A root in a green thing. the bloody owl have to be all the way over there? That's so annoying. That one's blue. A root and a green thing, right. So we're just doubling up on that then. Should be able to get over there, look. But how do I get back? Oh, that was close. I have not done very well this time round, I have to admit. So again, root and a green thing. Oh no, now he wants double root mushroom. Get. At least I can hide from him, I suppose. This is hard. Not bad, it says, not bad. It's definitely harder, that one. That's the hardest one yet. New headdress. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right, this really is my last go. This is a really good testament to... Uh... What's this? Try your luck at the wishing well. What did I get? Coffee. Where's the wood? Where's the wood? Where's the wood? Rose and a garlic thing. There's that. Where's the where's the plant pot? Over there.
What does that do, I wonder? Right, double green things. Where are the green things, then? Are these the green things? Ah, oh, these are the green things. Not seen those before. Uh, wood. Doing terribly bad here. Right, what's this? A rose and a garlic thing. So everything is growing now. I have to go and get everything, which is really cool. It's close. That looks like a bomb. I wonder if I can attack what's his face with that. I reckon that's possible. Oh, what's that? Double root mushroom. What's next? Double root mushroom. game this is. I really like this game. I like this more than the cooking one, I'll be honest. There's a lot more to it, it's a lot more fun, and I just think it works better. Yay! Nearly 100%. Nearly 100%. Alright, okay, I think I've shown enough. This game's really cool. It's 13.99 on Steam at the moment. It's called Witch-tastic from Red Fur Games, published by Application Systems Heidelberg. It's got multiplayer, online co-op, local co-op, and overall co-op, and remote play together, as I mentioned before. He even has split screen, which is just superb. It's everything you want in a game. Uh, if you're an adult looking for games to play with your kids, this is perfect. If you've got friends around and you're an adult or a kid, and you just want a game that's sort of chilled out, fun, and a bit of a giggle, again, this game is absolutely perfect for that. Highly recommend it. I think it's brilliant. And uh, thank you to the devs for hooking me up with a key. 100% um, behind this one. I think it's superb. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Goodbye for now. Said. Goodbye for now. Go away. Goodbye for now. Goodbye for now.